Oh, 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 oh
Refractor Auto, numbered to 499. You're seeing comps on these in, in the 230 to 300 range. Um, it's definitely closer to a $300 card with the redemption. This did just come back from Tops. The card looks absolutely beautiful. Yours shipped for $250 shipped to your door on Luis Rodriguez, budding international free agent prospect signed by uh, the Los Angeles Dodgers this past signing session. We're rolling right along, but we got more presents. We got more presents under our tree. We're going for them. Let's see what we got here. I'm excited. How about you? Let's see. Let's see what's in there. Ah! We got hockey, I bet you. We got hockey coming out. These PSA boxes really came in useful for this video. Thanks, PSA. Some great value in hockey savings today. A couple of Young Guns, guys. PSA 10s. Young Guns is it, right? They are the hockey equivalent of the flagship, right? If you're going to be collecting guys, be collecting Young Guns. Great opportunity here for these on you guys. Um, the Kabbalic. Honestly, it's the least expensive it's ever been comping at. You're seeing it in the 80, 80 to 90 ish range. Um, we're offering it to you today for $70 shipped. Really can't go wrong on a Dominic Kabbalic there. And then you've also got one of the Hughes brothers, Quinn Hughes. Um, really awesome de defenseman for the Vancouver Canucks guys. Um, PSA 10 Young Guns here. Opportunity for you all. Seeing the cards sell 175, 180 to 200, maybe even a little bit above that in some recent comps in the last week, week and a half. 160 shipped to your door. You can have a Quinn Hughes PSA 10 Young Guns. Not too shabby if we do say or so ourselves. We've worked through some of the sports and we've still got a tremendous amount of, uh, of value to come your way in our presence. We got some little guys here. I don't know what they might be, but let's give them a shot. I guess you could say these could be our stocking stuffers, but stocking stuffers tend to be on the lower end side. I don't know. How's our wax? Oh, could it be? Could it be? Wizards of the Coast Neo Genesis Pokemon Pack First Edition. Last comp on this pack, $630 for a first edition sealed unweighed Neo Genesis pack. Guess what? Your Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, Happy New Year, Friday Daily Deals opportunity today. $425 shipped to your door for a Neo Genesis pack. That is one hell of a stocking stuffer value if we do say so. Don't miss out on that opportunity, guys. Whether you grade that pack, it's fresh out of the box. Whether you open it, whether you sit on it for an extended period of time, the supply on that product is drying up. But you might have an opportunity to take two home. Could this be what this secondary pack is? Let's just see. A lucky guess. Why on earth would I open another stocking stuffer of, is it? Is it the same pack? It is another first edition Neo Genesis Pokemon pack. Now, why did we offer another stocking stuffer up of this? Why did Santa decide to put this bad boy back above the, underneath the tree and above the, uh, the fireplace? Because he said we should do a two for deal. $425 each, or you want both of them, ladies and gentlemen, $800 shipped. That's $400 per pack. Buy them both. You got them for $400 per pack, $800 shipped to Neo Genesis Pokemon uh, first edition packs. Beautifully sealed. If you want me to weigh them for you, I'll weigh them for you if that seals the deal. Sent to your door, $800 shipped on that stocking stuffer. You know, we've opened a bunch of these smaller boxes. I'm curious to see what Santa left us in this big boy because it feels pretty heavy. And those single packs, they got me itching to break some wax. So let's see what we got in. So nicely packed, this elf did. It's like Will Ferrell was here himself packing all of our presents. Could it be? A 1996-97 collector's choice? Series 2 hobby box? Is that Anthony Hardaway on the cover? I think it is. Does that mean that Kobe Bryant rookie cards could be lurking? 
almost definitely. How about Allen Iverson? How about Jermaine O'Neal? Guys, tremendous amount of value in this product. You just saw a comp come down. Where is that comp? At 425 on bids sold. Uh, that was the last one on bids. And $500 on a buy it now. Guess what? Shipped to your door. No added shipping, no added insurance. A chance for you to own a beautiful condition perfectly sealed original cellophane 1996 1997 collector's choice series 2 hobby box for $350 shipped to your door this one whether you want it gift wrapped or not that's too nice of a present I'm gonna gift wrap it for you and that way you can open it under your tree on Christmas day come and get it this one won't, won't last long Got a few more presents left for everybody. Let's see what might be lur lurking in this one. I'll tell you, Santa Claus really outdid himself so far this year. Old Saint Nick. Okay, we got some basketball here. LeBron is heating up, folks. LeBron is heating up, and despite the fact that the pop reports of base card mania might be through the roof, you might have heard me rant about this a couple times over, that does not mean that these cards will be going for $30 to $40 for much longer. I wholeheartedly believe that. I believe that come the playoffs there will be major value um, if you get into some of this stuff now, especially at $25 per card. You can have a LeBron MVP PSA 10 out of Mosaic, a LeBron Chronicles Crusade PSA 10 out of Chronicles, last year's Chronicles, or a Jam Masters LeBron also out of Mosaic PSA 10. I just love that action shot flying through the air. The man himself, King James, $25 shipped to your door. Any one of these slabs, it was $25 just to grade them at the end of last year. You all remember that? $25 shipped to your door. Any one of the King James slabs. And this is actually one I pulled out of my PC, guys. A present from me to you at uh, 100 Where am I? $120 shipped. You have a Paul Pierce Vital Signs Prospects Auto PSA 10 out of SP Authentic. From 1998, great auto on ring winner himself, Paul Pierce. Um, you don't see this card come up. Um, there's only a handful of 10s on it. I believe it's like a pop 20 in a PSA 9. You can't even find sales. Um, I think I'm really underselling myself at $120 on this, especially for a legend like Paul Pierce in the last 20 years. Here's your chance. A Paul Pierce PSA 9 autograph. To your door, 120 shipped. We covered basketball. I don't know what's left, honestly. What happened to hit? I don't even know. I think we outwrapped ourselves with some of this stuff. Oh, we got baseball. Okay, here we go. You're not seeing this guy come up very often. Kyle Tucker, everybody seems to be holding. It's like all of a sudden we realize he's actually got 30-30 potential. 30, $30 shipped. A PSA 10 Kyle Tucker flagship tops rookie to your door. They're going for approximately the $40 range. This card will not be $30 come spring training, folks. Get it while you can. This card, despite being a rookie debut flagship on Mr. Juan Soto, the childish Bambino, um, you're really seeing it in the $80 range. $65 to your door, a PSA 10 on the future of baseball, dare I say. I think everybody is under the same impression at this point that this is the baby goat. Get it while you can, guys. Uh, and finally, I would perceive this as one of the most undervalued um, Tops rookies of a Hall of Famer that's out there right now, quite frankly. This this guy had 3,000 hits. He had 500 home runs, a tremendous amount of RBIs. Mr. Consistency was Eddie Murray. And this is a PSA 9 with a qualifier. Um, asking 150 shipped on this, folks. The last one did 192 shipped with on bids, and that did have the qualifier. Just um, for uh, a little bit more context, if this was just a regular PSA 9, 
you're talking big, big money. Um, in reality, you do have a tremendous amount of border on the right side. I'm not convinced it would have had the OC qualifier by today's standards, but nonetheless, a really lovely copy of an Eddie Murray All-Star rookie in a PSA 9 slab for $150 shipped. Here's your chance. Come and get it. We got one more present left. I think I know what it is. Because a holiday is not complete without the, the king of the Pokemon universe himself, Mr. Charizard. And we got some great options for you today, guys. Start out with my personal favorite out of the bunch. You got a 2017 Black Star promo PSA 9. You, this is comping all day, 90. 120, 130, I saw it as high as 140. Take this one to your door, folks, for $90 shipped. In a PSA 10, by the way, this is like a $500 card, $400 card. So you're talking less than a quarter of that for a PSA 9, um, which is, again, way under comps itself. $90 shipped. Come and get that Zard, folks. A 2016 XY Generation Zard. It is a PSA 8. This will definitely be one of the humblest Zards you'll ever see me own. Um, I was fortunate enough to pick it up in a deal recently and even more fortunate to be able to pass on our savings to you once again. $30 shipped to your door for this XY Generations Charizard PSA 8 out of 2016 XY. You got a 2019 Pokemon Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. We got a tag team Zard on this bad boy. The Zard Braxton PSA 9, again, you're comping in the 30 to 40 range. Guess what? I'm going to do even better on this one than the Generations. $25 shipped on this PSA 9 Charizard. Can't lose, guys. Add another one to your collection for the holidays. This 2016 XY Black Star is from the Red and Blue collection, that promotion. Um, comps, again, really average in the 100 range, sometimes a little bit above. It's a nice card, centered very, very well. We're asking $85 shipped on it. Don't think you can go wrong at that price point, guys, that's for sure. Um, and finally, to round us off for the holidays, we got a Charizard PSA 10 coming your way, a Champion's Path. You can't lose on this card with what it's gotten down to. You're talking $40 shipped to your door on a card that used to go for $200 not even eight, nine months ago. Um, it's still comping in the 60-ish range, somewhere to that extent. So under 70% of comps for this Champion's Path promo out of the ETB PSA 10 Charizard out of 2020 Sword and Shield Pokemon. Folks, it was a blast um, bringing Santa to you today, and as always, bringing as much value uh, that we can from all the daily deals that we bring forth, not just for the holidays, but for the duration of the calendar year. From our families to yours, we hope you are having such a wonderful holiday season. Um, we can't thank you enough for all the support and growth over the uh, 2021 calendar year. Um, and we look forward to keep continuing to bring you all as much value as possible because at the end of the day, we just have a great time playing with cardboard. And without these kind of deals to pass on to the community, well, we're nothing. For everybody here at Anything But Commons, enjoy your holidays. And as always, give us a shout. Have a great weekend playing with cardboard.